Have you ever wondered why you are insatiably hungry after just two dives? Or maybe you realize just how happy you feel being underwater or after a dive trip? In this video, I'll let you know how scuba diving can help you not only lose weight, but improve your overall health too, both physically and mentally. Let's get into it. I'm Thomas Hughes, a professional scuba instructor, and on this channel, you'll see videos on scuba education, equipment, experiences, and environmental awareness. Whether it's your New Year's resolution, a desire to get your beach pod back, an upcoming event to look good for, or hey, maybe you just want to be healthy. Staying fit physically and mentally is something many of us have on our minds, but did you know scuba diving can actually help with these goals? First, let's talk about some of the benefits of diving that many people don't realize. While we don't ever want to work ourselves to the point of being out of breath or truly exercising underwater, scuba diving can actually burn a lot of calories just through our own normal lazy diving. According to various reports and research, an average diver can burn between 400 and 700 calories per hour while diving. This depends of course on currents and most importantly the water temperature. That's right, your body burns calories to heat itself up, so diving in colder water can actually burn more calories, as much as some of us may hate cold water diving. By the way, check out the dry suit that I use for cold water diving in the description down below and keep an eye out for an upcoming video review of it too. The act of your body heating itself up to keep you warm speeds up your metabolism even when you aren't working hard or actually exercising underwater. This is true even in tropical water, like when I'm down in the Caribbean for example, because the temperatures are still below our body's core temperature, which means our bodies still have to work to stay warm. Additionally, while we all try to streamline ourselves, our equipment does still add drag. In fact, the Journal of Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise published a study stating divers consume about 25% more energy while swimming at the surface than normal swimmers due to our tank and other gear. But the benefits don't stop here. Maybe you've heard something like this before. I want you to take a deep, long breath. Shut out the noise and chaos around you. Listen to your breath as you inhale, exhale, and breathe slowly. No, I'm not talking about yoga or meditation. I'm talking about scuba diving. Scuba diving has amazing benefits to our mental health, from stress relief and relaxation to overall mindfulness. Just think about it. You hear the white noise crackle of a reef, the sound of your breath as you inhale, the bubbles as you exhale. You're completely weightless, and there's no electronics, screens, or other distractions to really disturb us. Sure, we may build up some excitement if we see a shark or dolphins, maybe a sea turtle, but overall, scuba diving has been shown to be a relaxing experience that can lower your your heart rate and your blood pressure due to the state of calm that it puts us in. I actually go in depth about the way scuba diving impacted my own mental health in this video in the cards as well as in the description down below. And I'll add another link in a card for a meditation video I posted if you want some great music to study or relax to while watching beautiful footage of scuba diving. Most of us dive on sunny days and we know research shows exposure to sunlight has a hugely positive impact on our mood and provides us with a crucial source of vitamin D. Of course, if you're going to be out in the sun, make sure you use a reef safe sunscreen to protect the reefs that you're enjoying as well. Link in the description to one of my favorite brands, Stream to See. All of these elements combined with the increased energy expenditure I mentioned previously lead to increased dopamine and serotonin levels, keeping us happy and motivated day to day while helping us relax and sleep better too. Finally, I'd like to touch on some of the common misconceptions about scuba diving, fitness, and who can actually participate in these activities. First, scuba diving is probably one of the most approachable activities for people to do. You can get certified with Patty starting at 10 years old, and I've seen people well into their 80s still out there scuba diving. There are even a adaptive diving techniques for folks with limited mobility or disabilities, even to the extent that organizations like DiveHeart have been founded to completely focus on people with mental and physical disabilities, whether they're children, veterans, or other adults. I've actually heard some amazing stories of even quadriplegics that have been able to dive with a full face mask and multiple adaptive buddies to guide them. And really, those stories do pull at your heartstrings, so fair warning. For more info on these types of things, check out DiveHeart's website, or better yet, watch their recent documentary. It's called Adapting to Dive, and it's available on Amazon is on the stream. I'll leave a link down in the description below to that as well. Finally, remember that while all these benefits do truly exist, you still need to consult your doctor before starting any new physical activity and before diving. There are PADI medical forms and equivalent forms in every other scuba agency that ask some basic questions to make sure diving is going to be right for you and that you'll be safe underwater. Please note that these forms are important and even if you mark that you do have a condition listed on the form, it's not necessarily going to prevent you from diving in every case. But your physician will be the one to make the final decision on this, so please fill them out honestly. Scuba diving truly transformed my life, and while I'm on my own journey to maintain and improve my overall health, I'd love for you to take that journey with me as well. So hit that subscribe button and let's travel down the road together. It's time to prioritize yourself and improve your mental and physical health. But wait, how do I even become a scuba diver? Well, that's exactly what I talk about in this video. I'll see you over there, and remember there's links in the description to everything else we talked about today. And with that, stay safe, have fun, and let's go diving.